There it is. Hey, there Hello. we are. Hi, everybody. Um, long time no see. Uh, I'm Moonblaze Wolf. This is Hades uh, modded. I'm going to be doing three weapons today. Uh, the three weapons I will be using are the rail gun, uh, the spear, and the shield. Uh, so we'll definitely talk more about those as the run progresses. Uh, I will be completing escapes uh, three times with three different weapons. And so it's a really interesting, fun category, but also leaves um, some variability. Different runners will do different things. We'll use different weapons. We'll use different aspects and boons and things like that. Um, if you have never seen Hades before, don't know anything about Hades, there's way too much to explain uh, in just a short time capsule. Uh, basically, we are trying to escape from the realm of Hades. The various Greek gods will help us along the way, and uh, we will face certain impediments as we try to escape. Um, there's not too much more to say about this game. It's basically my game of the year for the last two years, just because it's been huh. out and floating around so long. It's such mm -hmm. a good game. Um, I never get tired of playing this game, but I'm a randomizer person by nature, so I think that's part of what I like about it. Um, I'm going to be playing with mods today. There's still going to be plenty of RNG. Um, for people who know Hades well, the three things, the three major things that the mods will accomplish is I'm always going to get to pick my first hammer for the weapon that I'm using. I'm always going to have the preferred boon from my first god that I pick uh, when I choose them. And when I get to the fourth area, which is sticks, it's always going to be two, um, two uh, Pass. pass passageways. Um, when you play the game without mods, you never get to choose your hammer. You might get screwed out of the god choice that you want. And um, hey, the sticks passageways can be anywhere from two to five. So really what this does is just kind of smooths out a lot of that RNG, a lot less resets, makes it a lot more consistent. And it's just a lot more, it's a much more fun way to run the game. There's still tons of um, decision making that I'm going to have to do. There's still tons of randomness in RNG. So uh, we'll see that as we're going. Um, I'm going to let my uh, couch introduce themselves. I'm really happy that both of them are here. So thank you and go ahead. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Helix. You've seen me a lot by now. I dabble in this game a little bit. I've done a couple runs. It's fun. Uh, my name is Amber. I don't run this game, uh, but I kind of used to. I'm in the credits for it, and I was the first person to do all weapons runs, and I invented fresh file to credits, and I helped test the patches before they went live in early access. I know a lot about this game, yes. and that's I'm, I'm here to give fun facts. And I'm so glad that you're here, because you literally arrived like half an hour ago. I did get here, uh, <laughs> how long? Uh, 35 minutes ago. It's, there good, we go. it's good to see you. Yeah, it is. Glad, so you, glad, you. glad you can make it. I'm yeah. glad I could too. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I will let you know when time starts. It's not going to be right away. Um, and the reason why is because uh, this first escape attempt, I actually have to do a reset to show that I am doing truly, like I haven't prepped any of this. It is totally random. So Bye, this everyone. first escape attempt will just be me dying. Uh, Bahamut, do we have any pets for the good boy queued up that I can take care of right now as well? Ah, not now. Yes, we are currently at three pets. Three pets, okay. Uh, if you want more pets, keep donating. It is $50 a pet, and uh, I will do them between runs. So um, between runs, Bahamut, try to... If, I'll try to ask, but if not, let me know if we have any, any queued up. So. Okay, okay. And the next one. he's here, so this is good. We're going to get these first three pets in. You all donated for him, so here we go. I mean, old father's nice to you, at least, isn't he, boy? You have to have a death at the very beginning of your video for a speedrun of this game, because uh, otherwise you could theoretically be running the first run off of a set seed, and dying is the most efficient way to guarantee that the scene's going to be random. Yep. Yeah, you either have to die or complete the run, and obviously completing the run, if you're not already right there, takes a while. Yep. If you did complete a run before, you can also start your submission video with your Hades kill. Which is pretty great. That also That's a good way to do it. So Nice flex. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started for real now. Um, one thing I just want to say before I get started, there are so many different ways to run this game. You can do high heat, you can do low heat, you can do fresh file to credits, you can do fixed seeds, you can do random stuff like I'm doing. You can do mods, no mods. There's really just like the sky's the limit with this game, and it's so much fun. So Just look at the speedrun.com page. <laughs> look at all of the categories. There's, there's something for you there. Yep. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. I will call when to start the timer. It will be when I gain control of Zagreus on this attempt. So here we go in, we'll say, five, four, three, two, one, go. All right. 
So I'm starting with the Aeris Rail. Uh, we're going to start with the, the uh, Zeus Boon, and I'm going to be starting with um, I have to reload. the Lightning Attack, which that was weird. That was a lot of enemies there, but it's okay. Um, there's a lot to kind of talk about with this weapon. Uh, basically, I'm going to be shooting it up in the air, trying to stand where it lands, and then going pew, 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 pew as much as I possibly can. Oh, that's nice. That's uh, what I want. Eris, uh, you get a big buff if you stand inside the explosion. Um, and then, in addition to that, uh, this Zeus boon is going to be the best damage for the rail because it hits so often, and it only does like 10 or 15 damage on hit, but then the Zeus boon adds another 15 or more if we get palms. Yep. Speaking up. <laughs> I was about to say. There. Yep. There it is. Yeah, there's a lot. Do you want to talk about maybe like the different uh, items and room types that we're going to be seeing? Yeah, for sure. Um, so there's uh, there's a couple of different types of rooms. There's obviously there's combat rooms, there's non-combat rooms, there's also shops. Um, there is one mid shop in, in the biome, and then there's uh, a shop at the very end of the biome before the boss. Um, you have to be able to recognize that it's the mid shop. Uh, if you take the thing that's not a shop, thinking that this is the end of the chamber, then you're in another fight, and that takes more time. Um, the, the farther you get into a biome, the harder enemies you'll see. You'll see them with super armor, where they don't get stunned from your hits. Um, and the I think this is probably why you had so many enemies in the first room. This game uses a pretty simple like game, like a director type thing to determine what enemies spawn, and every enemy has a certain point value. Um, the skull mats, which are those little skulls, have uh, really, really low values, and so they probably just had to spawn more of them. So yep. depending on what enemy types you get, um, the room can be faster. Ooh, like is, those little skulls are, those little skulls are super slow to deal with. Yep. Here we have the wretched sneak. Oh, he dodged me. OK. Um, this is a mini boss. Yeah. This is, the, in my opinion, the hardest mini boss of Tartarus. Yeah, I agree. You will always take at least a little bit of damage, almost always. It's also very hard to optimize because it Are uh, you going to fish? Fish, fish, fish. There's a fish. Oh, uh, I'll fish. There's a free room next. There's actually Ooh. two free rooms next. Thank you. Peer pressure, peer pressure. Very important. Yes. I don't know if I'll fish every time. But no, I'll just one. I just want one. One fish. Thank you. A heck fish. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. HE double hockey. Sticks. Love to fish. So one really quick thing. Um, there was a little blue aura around that. Uh, uh, darkness crystal room that actually indicates to me that that's a free room. That is another mod pack uh, thing. Oh, is that a fountain? Yep. So you know it's a fountain room if oh, it's got that cool. little blue aura. Yeah. So it. that was one of the other. So non-combat rooms will be there's there are shops that you can get in the middle of the biome, or there's a room that will have a health restore and no enemies. Yep. And it's random if you get it, and there's one in each of the first three biomes. Yep. Um, it's a huge time save because that means a whole a whole room you don't have to do. There's my bit shop. There is a little counter in the top right corner. It's probably hard for all of you to see, but we were talking about um, free rooms and knowing where certain rooms are. There's a set number of rooms in each biome, so by keeping track of that, I can actually know uh, where I'm at and if a room is going to be free or optimal or if it's going to be like an extra room as well. So Normally, you would have to keep the boon list open to see what chamber you're in. But if you, if you hit the boon list button while you're walking into a room, the chamber icon will appear. And it'll stay there. Yep. Oh, um, another small quality of life thing that's not explained. We're running with tight deadline on, which is that little red timer by Blaze's health bar. Um, that will have almost no effect on us because we're going to be able to clear these rooms very quickly. Tight yep. deadline add makes it so that you have either nine, seven, or five minutes per biome, and each biome adds another nine, seven, or five. Um, but as long as you're running with any level of tight deadline, the survival room where Hades stops you from progressing and continuously spawns enemies for 45 seconds does not show up if you have tight deadline on. Um, interestingly, that room still pauses the in-game timer, but people still just thought it, was, it, was, it, it took too long. So having tight deadline on makes it so that room doesn't show up. So if you don't like the 45 second survival rooms, just run with tight deadline one. It's easy. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I like. Wait, where did it, you go? It, it's oh, this is this is the point. first boss. Uh, there are three Fury sisters, and we're fighting Tisiphone, which is the the murder lady. Uh, she only knows three words: murder, murderer, and uh, Zagreus. But that's kind of spoilers. Uh, um, 
So Symphony is pretty hard. We're running with Extreme Measures 1, which is another heat setting that makes things more difficult. The heat setting for EM1 and EM2, EM1 adds more Fury Sisters to the fight, because you can fight one of three, and some of them have more attack. They'll, they'll do more attacks at you, but you don't have to fight them. No. Um, EM2 is actually faster than the normal second boss, so that's why we, we run with EM2 on. We just happen to also have to do EM1. Uh, EM is extreme measures. I don't know if I said that. It's the thing that makes bosses harder. Um, I was going to say, before I started like, stumbling over my words, that tight deadline is, it looks intimidating. It's really not that bad. No, Even casually, right I have here, no problem with it. We're yep. going into Asphodel, and seven minutes added to the clock. 10.49 yep. now. Yep. So It's basically, can you get out of Asphodel in seven minutes? And yeah, the, the hard, Tartarus is the longest biome generally. Or Tartarus, sorry. Yeah. Tartarus is the longest biome, so if you're running with like tight deadline three, you have to clear that entire biome in five minutes, which we were able to do three minutes 20 on the in-game timer right now. Um, so Blaze is crushing it right now. We've got uh, Meme Beam Demeter cast, um, which is probably not going to be seeing too much play right now, except to get some bosses when you have free time to put it out. Uh, There's a reason I got that. I will talk about it if I Oh, is it get, duos? Yeah, it's oh. so I can get Cold Fusion later, Oh, that makes sense. Oh, right, Cold Fusion. Yeah, yeah. duh. That's the duo for Zeus and Demeter. Yep. Um, but the hammer that Blaze got is Cluster Bomb, which makes uh, the special have five explosions instead of one explosion, but I believe it does 30% less, or is yep. it just flat 30% damage? 30% uh, less. 30% less, so that's a huge damage up. Free room, let's go. And here's nice. a free room. We get to level up Tidal Dash. Tidal Dash is one of the better damage outputs, and it's a big circle around you every single time you dash. Um, dashing in this game gives iframes until you buffer an attack, cast, special, call, Ooh. aid, whatever. Oh, I hate this guy. Um, right. If... Uh, if you are dashing, you want to wait for your dash to get all the way across and then do your attack, and then you'll have more invulnerability frames. If you are just mashing dash and attack at the same time constantly, you're basically not going to have any invulnerability frames. Um, Those guys are the worst for speedruns, and I got three of them in the same room. Which yeah, is the, the Skull Crushers... Uh, take a lot of time because they have to fall they fly up into the air wait a long time and then fall back down on you here we want to explain chaos rooms yeah chaos is another free room um, there's just a chance that you go into it you have to you have to pay health to get into the room you have to survive a debuff for a certain number of encounters but then you get a super strong buff that can stack on top of any additional thing. Um, Blaze picked up one that will uh, make it so that uh, he takes more damage for a little bit. Um, normally these bullets would do five, right now they're dealing seven. Um, and afterwards, uh, his special is going to do a lot more damage. We don't have any boon on special, but if we get one, it'll be cumulative. Like right this now. might be. It will be if I have anything to say about it. Perfect. There, there you are. So now we have a whole lot of damage. We have special that does 20% crits and 70 or 80%, no, 30% on the epic for level one. And there's crystal clarity. That's that's something that, okay, no, fine. <laughs> oh, I didn't I'm sad. To take that. That's okay. Crystal clarity would have I'm not going to really here. use my cast very much. I will just be honest. Yeah, no, that's fair. It's basically just free DPS when I don't have anything else to do, which is not... And I suppose Ravenous will. You can just kind of throw them off to the side and then never go back to that space. Exactly. Sure. Yep. So I'll use it more now, actually, because of so, that. I'm also using um, Stygian Soul, which only gives me one crystal, which is actually a really good combo for that. So. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but Lurney, though. So yeah, this is Extreme Measures 2 Lurney. Lurney is the Lurney and Bone Hydra that Hercules killed. Um, uh, and uh, words are hard. I'm sorry. Normally this uh, normally this chamber does not have little strips of lava in between and is a much wider area. Uh, the mini hydra heads that pop up are more spread apart that way. Um, so we run with Extreme Measures 2, which features this smaller arena that is much more deadly uh, because it lets us kill all these little heads a little bit quicker. We don't have to spend as much time getting from each one to each one. So. Um, and the time save that we get from this uh, ah, darn it. I knew it was greatly be outweighs like the time loss of having to fight a slightly harder first boss, and that is Lurney. Yep. Now we're moving on to Elysium, where we are going to fight uh, the heel of the game. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> get the that's a the good, heel uh, and play on one of my favorites. Um, 
Skip in the shop. I don't have any money. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. That's okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so here's Elysium. This is where all the the heroes live. Um, Tartarus is where all the the darned souls go. Asphodel is a is a meadow that the lava river flooded and turned into a bit of a hexscape. <laughs> and now we're in Elysium. Uh, these enemies are exalted heroes that turn into little eyeballs that try to pick up their weapons and turn into little dudes again. These guys are really frustrating and kind of annoying to deal with uh, if, the, if the eyeballs uh, fly really far away from where you killed them and like sometimes they'll try to track onto a weapon that like is super far away like this one yeah that is, guy's in a bad spot that one is what is he doing like he's trying to get at that top sword over there but decided to go around the spear dudes yeah. so these phalanx traps uh if any enemy is near one all of them will hit so uh you need to watch yourself yeah. when you're around them they do a fair bit of damage too yeah, they're kind of rough. Um, I'm going to take an extra heart here for safety, because I did take a death already. For sure. Um, hopefully... Your title dash damage is really helping out, because yeah. um, you're running a ranged weapon, so you don't really need to do melee damage. So this title dash that does insane damage and pushes people out, yeah. uh, pushes people away. I mean, it's just it's 105 per dash. It's gross. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. This is kind of just how I play this game. So certain right. weapons are, are better for certain people. Yeah. I truthfully play this weapon kind of like a melee weapon, just yeah. because of the dash damage. For sure. Um, and like you mentioned earlier... Oh yeah, it's worth mentioning dash attacks. Uh, every yeah. weapon has a dash attack, and for the gun, the dash attack is just two bullets instead of one. It's double damage with a little bit longer uh, frame data, but not double frame data. So Goodbye. That's the first... That's the mini boss. That, that's the easier mini boss. That yeah, is that's, the, that's, that's the one you want to see. That's yeah. the triple B big butterfly ball, and uh, it's dead now. It so, goes fast with this weapon. Yeah. Just kind of shredded it. Yep. Just casually playing that boss is like, oh no, what the heck is going on? You what have to this? you have yeah. to micromanage a lot with that yeah. boss because those little eyeballs. So that room, that mini boss room, has a bunch of weapons lying on the floor, and little eyeballs will spawn constantly, trying to pick them up and turn into exalted enemies. And they don't oh, stop. Gosh, there you are. They don't <laughs> stop spawning until the big butterfly ball is dead. And that's something that you're actually that we're going to see again in sticks as we go into mini as we fight a mini boss in sticks, because uh, we have a guaranteed two sack from the mods. Uh, yeah. The one mini boss that spawns will also be spawning little guys until we kill him. But hopefully we kill him really fast and only one or zero spawn. Yep. Depending on which one it is. More dash damage is going to outweigh the damage from gun at this point. Yep. And these cluster bombs are also just incredible damage with the chaos buff that you that isn't shown on the sidebar in addition to this epic Artemis buff. Yeah. That's I believe I saw a 444 damage crit. Yeah. If you see big numbers, those are crits. If you see an exclamation mark, those are crits. Oh yeah. And yeah, yeah. something interesting. Oh perfect. I get my. Uh... And there is Patty Patroclus. Nice. Himbo. The boys. The boys. <laughs> the himbos. Uh, anyways, um, God, this game's so good. <laughs> right? <Nope. laughs> There's almost too much to talk about. Right? It's just like, You're going too fast. Okay, I'm going to talk about something really quick that yeah, I love it. about this game, and it is that this game is incredibly queer and very just like non-apologetic for that. Oh, yeah. And... Uh, I'm gay. I find this very important to have representation in my video games, and it's also something that's very important to Greek mythology. Yeah. So seeing all of that in a video game is really, yeah. really cool. And Zagreus is a respectful, bisexual, polyamorous protagonist. Yes. There is a thruple in this game, and it kicks ass. Yep. I just swore. I'm sorry. I was literally trying not to, uh, like the hexscape and everything. Uh. I also. I'm staff. I don't care. What? I'm staff. I don't care. <laughs> okay. You're fine. It's just Thank there's you. there's. Here's really our heel. This is Theseus. He's a yep. garbage man. He's a garbage man. I'm sorry. I hit my mic. Uh, Asterius is cool though. Uh, yeah. But, but Theseus is the heel of this game. He was yeah. written to be hated. I I'm not even kidding. Like yeah. like literally like you are supposed to not like him. Yeah. And it's pretty awesome. He's he's very fun to hate. Uh, Asterius is uh, like also just like a really really cool character that I respect a lot. I like Asterius oh, yeah. a lot. Horns. <laughs> um, there we go. And that's that. That was a little slow. 
I usually have a call of some sort by now, so that definitely speeds that fight up, but we didn't really get one this time, is which is fine. Everything else is really good, so no complaints. Would you rather have Zeus call or Artemis call here? Uh, Zeus, for sure. Sure. Yeah. Artemis good. is just like faster damage. I'm not sure. I love Artemis call. Artemis is... Zeus, Zeus is... I like the ones that you can use every single bar. Yeah, yeah. Um, so my favorites Zeus. are Zeus, Dionysus, and uh, Demeter, actually. Right. Yep. Dionysus is actually the best damage output call. Yep. Shout out my friend uh, Firebird Lover who is I'm sure watching and critiquing everything I'm doing because uh -huh. we we are uh, Hades besties. I want that one. Um, uh, I'm just is so sad that Dionysus can't be more a part of the speed run but he does have his place He's uh, in a couple very specific boons that are extremely good. I believe no wait they, you use Floodshot for Beowulf right? Uh, no Aphrodite. For, Aphrodite. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I don't run this game. <laughs> I would. I would have assumed Trippy Flare is an option, but maybe not. I've never tried it. Hmm. Uh, Trippy. I will say though, Trippy. Uh, the, the lob, the the Dionysus call uh, cast that you're referring to. Festive fog. Absolutely, my favorite casual spell in this entire game. Oh, that's great. It's really yeah. fun. I it agree. is great. Yeah. And oh, uh, I don't like this one. Yeah. This. Oh. This is the uh, yeah, I did that wrong. Okay. elite uh, void void stone. Snake stone. Uh, snake stone. Snake yep. stone. Yeah, that yeah. could have been worse. Words are hard. Um, and so, because this is a modded run, that was the first chamber, and then the second chamber is guaranteed to have the satyr sack that we are giving to Cerberus. So, um, in the lore of this game, we are now on the surface of Earth. Well, we're in the underworld, or still we're underground, but this is not in hell. Yep. Uh, heck, we're. <laughs> Hades. No, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Let me have fun. Uh, we, we, so there, there, have are, fun. there are living creatures here that we are killing, rats and satyrs. Yeah. And uh, Zagreus has a moment about that in the game, which is pretty fun, yeah. um, story-wise. And uh, the lore in here is that uh, Cerberus is blocking the gate out, and we're trying to escape. There so we, go. we need to get this sack of satyr something, and yeah. we're going to feed it to Cerb. Fish. Uh, it's too late. It's too late. I will, I will do fishing on Lurney and Hades for, for the rest of the run. Cerberus treated to a snack. Yes. What a good boy. So Cerberus is blocking the gates to outside, and outside, who is standing in our way but... Oh gosh, what's going on with this loading screen? It's, there, it's taking a really long time because it's uh, something with the computer. It'll come, I promise. Okay. It was doing this in practice, too. What the there heck? it is. What the heck is wrong with my computer? <laughs> it's okay. And there's Dad. Yep. Hi, Dad. We're going to do a patricide. <laughs> I swear I've never had a load that long. I don't know what's Hold going on. on. Anyway. It did it the first time last night, and then it was fine, so I think it'll be fine again. I don't know what it is, but no worries. Yeah. So Hades has uh, a bunch of different attacks. Uh, the most frustrating thing for the speedrun uh, is he turns invulnerable at uh, a third and two thirds health for a while, um, but also he can just go invisible ah. for a little while like that, especially yeah. right as you time your call like that, and then he'll turn up again. Um, we're going to just try to kill him as quickly as possible. Yep. We do have the acorn keepsake um, that'll just tank some hits. Yeah, I'm very turn. safe in this yep. fight. So the nut, we're good. evergreen acorn. Yep. One of the better keepsakes in the game, providing five free hits against all bosses while you're holding it. Yes. There's not phase many one. bosses, yes. but not many bosses, but like, yeah, bosses of final areas, final bosses of areas. Wow, I totally jumbled that sentence. I love when he stands behind these because you can usually get a pretty good cluster on your cluster bombs. Mm -hmm. Like he stands right next to a wall, so he's like half dead already. Oh, he likes went and stood right into that one. Thank you. <laughs> this thing too looks like, and uh, it's worth mentioning. Um, That's in one that run. big circle attack, uh, you can stand in the middle of that big circle attack, and you won't take any damage if you're right next to him. Yep. Unless you take the hammer that effectively ends your run, so don't do that. Hazard bomb. Yes. Quick as a flash that time. All right. Any fish. No fish. I didn't know that until I saw you do it in your playthroughs. Uh, Bahamut, really? do we have yeah. any donations or do we have any more pets that I need to administer? 
We are currently at four pets, and I actually do have a few donations. Go ahead. This is a great time. All right. Uh, we have $25 by Anonymous with uh, no comment. Thank you so much for that donation. We have $10 by Taylor, who says, hope you are cooling down after your ring of adventure. Good luck on your Hades run and pet that doggo. And lastly, we have $50 by Firebird Lover, who says, shout out to Blaze, who have been watching do this place do to do this uh, since back in the days when the run was Merciful Endfist, Rail, and Hera Bow. Uh, and shout <laughs> out to Ember and Helix, who will be great Hera commentators. Bow. Blaze, you may you have mischievous with uh, Dinosus, uh, <laughs> flirty with Asterus, and victorious with Dad. And since this is a $50 donation, pet that good boy. Yes, we did. So. Thank you uh, again, Firebird. It Here we have Achilles friend. Spear. This is my favorite spear and probably my second favorite aspect in the game. Yeah. Um, when you throw out your special with the spear, normally you, specialing again will cause it to pull back into Zagreus' hand, but for Achilles, uh, Zag goes to the spear. Yeah. And then after Zag goes to the spear, for the next four attacks or casts, they do 150% damage, which is absurd. Yeah. Uh, the thing that is worth noting, um, if you have done three attacks, and then you do the spear and then the grab again, the special and grab again, you will only get one more attack with the buff. You need to exhaust all four buffs before you can get another four buffs. Um, so this is a very rhythmic weapon, yes. honestly, and it's it's a blast. Um, interesting that you're, uh, when I run uh, Achilles casually, I usually run it as a cast build, um, but we're running with uh, Guaranteed flurry jab. <laughs> yeah, guaranteed flurry jab is not going to make it a cast run. Flurry jab is uh, a very, very cool weapon, hammer. You get to uh, poke enemies very, very quickly. However, you do not get to charge your weapon up for a spin attack. Uh, that's totally fine, though, because you get to attack, What's a spin attack? so fast. <laughs> spin to win. Yeah. Um, I love this weapon because it's basically movement tech on a stick as well. Um, yeah, you, you get to run to your spear. It's yep. almost like another dash. Yep. I actually don't know if you have iframes while you're retrieving it or not. That's something I should test. I should know, and I don't, so. Well, <laughs> good going, Wolf. Bl this is a weapon that I, I just could not. I, this is a wolf. weapon. This is probably the classic speedrunning weapon for uh, multi-weapon. I just could never get it consistent enough to actually use it uh, regularly, so it's fairly new to me sure. um, now that I can do mods and guarantee that I get Flurry Jab every time. So, mm -hmm. All right, what do I want from you this time? We'll do that again. you got to throw out your cast every, like, three seconds for the Ravenous Will to stay yeah. active, though. Yeah. I'll most, it'll mostly be for bosses. Sure. Um, there's a lot of times you don't have a choice in your second boon. Um, so once I get back to the mid-level again, I'll be able to pick what I actually want for my, my second, which with this weapon is going to be Artemis uh, on my attack. So, yep. um, The keepsakes that you can start with, and you can change keepsakes each biome. Um, there is a keepsake for each god that makes them show up, and then there are also specialty ones for each NPC that's yep. not a god that do individual things. Like you saw the evergreen acorn from Eurydice uh, at the end of the last run. Um, other notable ones include Hypnos's uh, Pythonic Coin Purse, uh, uh, Charon's Bone Hourglass, um, some other good ones. Uh, I really like the, um, the Lambent Plume from Hermes, uh, the Pierced Butterfly from Than. There's some pretty cool stuff you can do with the, um, the uh, Charon item that gives you additional uh, rooms with the consumable items. Oh, yeah. You can actually use it in um, Elysium and then buy at sticks, unequip it for something else, and all of your buys will uh, last till the end of the run. Yeah, because guaranteed two sack. Um, yeah. Yep. Charon adds, I believe, like nine chambers yep. to an item's effect if yep. you buy it in the little, little wells. We haven't really seen many wells in the run so far. I think. Uh, Blaze skipped one earlier. Um, they offer three different selections, and you can re-roll them. And, uh... Generally speaking, I will not go out of my way for them. It depends on when it is in the run, though. Okay. I like getting at least one Chaos Boon. In that first run, I had already gotten one. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of the ideal items that you can buy in terms of speedrunning. Yep, the Light of Ixion, which will yep. automatically make chaos gate, a Chaos Gate appear 
uh, in the next room that it's eligible to. Um, As we touched on, that's fast. It, it that. is fast. Chaos, chaos is important. There's a set number of rooms in each biome, so any time that you can go through a room without having to fight enemies is great. Yep. Exactly. And Bye, Mike. Chaos is a is a boon with no enemies to fight. Fountain chambers are an item with no enemies to fight and a health restore. Yeah. It's like yeah, there's a there's a fair bit of luck in the game as far as how fast you're going. But yeah. So now we're grabbing the Artemis keepsake so that Artemis will show up. There's that Light of Ixion like we mentioned. You could re-roll there. Oh, you're on money. Never mind. I'll take a nice boon on top of it because um, yeah. there's a pretty good chance that I'll get a, a look at a Hermes boon here. So if I can oh, get sure. an upgraded Hermes boon, that would be really nice. Of course, I'm going to get, yeah, I'm going to get this. Uh, well. so. <laughs> that was a little bit of a non bow but hopefully I'll get something good here from Chaos as a result. Um, I'm more concerned with Chaos Chambers for the spear and the um, uh, shield because they rely a lot more on Caustic Strike is a really good option attack. here. Yeah. Um, the the debuffs are the debuffs and the buffs uh, can be like mi mix and matched basically. So you can you can in one run get uh, you can't it, you'll take damage if you attack, but then your cast is stronger. And then you can get you'll take damage if you special, but then your cast is stronger in like two separate runs because they're separate oh, buff and, they're separate debuffs and buffs. Yeah. Um, so Caustic, the debuff, makes enemies drop uh, Inferno Bombs, which deal 12 damage as they explode, but there's a huge delay, and they often don't aim at you. Yep. Um, it's generally then, no downside. Yeah. yeah, and then the thing at the other end of it, I don't remember, Flourish? Special damage? No, it was Attack. Uh, I'm getting caustic like strike. plus 60-something attack damage. Yeah, Caustic this. Strike, so this is going to add attack damage, and it's also worth mentioning, it adds attack damage, but it doesn't fill that attack spot. So I believe Blaze is going to try to get Artemis attack here. Oh, I got it. Come on. Come and on. that die, is die, 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 the die, die, power die, die, die. couple yeah, yeah. quick kill. As soon as the Skull Crusher fell down, we activated Meg, and Meg hit both of them for 25 dam 2,500 yep. damage. Oh, yes. Please well give me attack. Please. There, we go. there it is. Thank attack you. damage right there. Yep. And there's a free nice. money. Free rooms are nice, too. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, honestly, in nice terms time. of speedrunning this game, your decision making is probably one of the most important things you can do to go faster. Oh yeah. Um, so knowing what you want when you are pulling up a particular god or when you're going into a chaos chamber um, just makes all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate about I appreciate that about this run. That's not necessarily something you see too often in speedrunning, where decisions matter so so much. You know. uh, the, these skeletal enemies in Asphodel are called the Bloodless, and they all have one signature trait, which is that they jump around like crazy and frustrate the heck out of us. Yes. Um, side, I'm going to take no? my last reroll here, and that's what I wanted. Perfect. Hyper Sprint. Yeah, that's going to get. That's going to add a lot more movement speed. After every single dash, after every individual dash, you're going to gain. Um, Sturdy, which makes you take a little bit less damage and more importantly not get knocked back. That's that little circle that appears around Zag. Um, but then also uh, a movement speed up, which you can see from the dash lines behind him. Yep. It will also it also unlocks um, a straight up DPS option that I'm hoping to get in my second uh, Hermes boon, yeah. which is going to be rush delivery. Yep. So rush delivery converts X percent of your movement speed, X, uh, your additional movement speed, into attack damage. And the higher rarity, the better you get, the better deal you get. Basically, I believe at uh, common rarity it's thirty percent, and at epic rarity it's fifty percent. Yep. So I think it actually goes up all the way to 75. Does it? Yeah. I'm not sure, though. Uh, I haven't had I it I thought in a that while. Heroic was 60. Maybe it's 60, then. Because it's 30, 40, 50, 60. Uh, rarity increases are flat from common to rare to epic to heroic. Um, palms fall off. So we have a level 2 attack right now. The buff that we got from level 1 to level 2 is bigger than the buff we'll get from level 2 to level 3. However, if we somehow managed to get it from common to rare, if we got it from rare to heroic, it would be the same up. And uh, there is, uh, that's Lerny, yeah. Clap there, that was a good fight. I was getting a little that tight was, there. That good, yeah. Yeah, we that got was, it. You got that. Um, there is an NPC in Asphodel that can increase the rarity of your item, which is a bigger buff than Palms. Uh, but we haven't gotten Eurydice yet. Uh, Moving on to... I want, I want we did see Eurydice last round. Did we? Yes. Oh, I was talking over it, probably. We actually saw all three. Friend. All three friends. No, I didn't have it. The I you, did not have it this had, last time. You had uh, yeah, you, you had Sisyphus and Pat. I had Pat. Yeah, I've had all I of them once. Maybe I that's what it. you meant. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Okay. I 
I'm, I'm just kind of, it, honestly, one of the things about this game is it does all start to blur together a little bit. You gotta bit, go so. on autopilot for some of it. You yeah. don't, like, you, you, don't, you don't have the brain capacity to, yeah. to make every single decision I gotta go burr. full thought. Like, like, the longer you play this game, the more you, the better you get at making automatic decisions. Yeah. And automatic decisions matter a lot when you're trying to go fast yeah. in a roguelike yeah. where it's all decisions. It's also why it's really good to have good commentators to help you out during your run. So thank you both again. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Are you okay? So this hammer, what are you looking for? Are you looking for triple dash? I am. Okay. Triple or extending would probably be my second choice. Oh, extending with flurry sounds really good. Yeah. Um, so there is a, a hammer here. Trip, triple. Triple dash. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your attack fires in three. I, I was thinking of triple dash, the dash attack triple. Whoops. But that one's just fun damage. Yeah, you will see more lines coming out of my spear now. Yeah, there's there's going to be, um, yeah. Oh, was this one of you? Things are just going to start melting, hopefully. Yeah, we have pretty ridiculous damage here. Um, Caustic Strike plus Artemis is pretty pretty wild. Um, here we get Patty again. And because we're doing OK on health and, and death defiance, we're actually yep. going to be grabbing Cyclops Jerky Select, which gives us 60% additional attack damage on top of what we already have. So the heroes, uh, Theseus and Asterius, are going to melt. It's uh, worth noting that those little eyeballs have 150 health, so any any damage source that you have that does over 150 kills them in one shot, and that is something that is like good, relevant information to just know about the yep. game, because it's one of those automatic decisions. One of the many decisions you make in the game is what do you use to attack the enemy, because you have four different things that can attack the enemy. And there's rush delivery that converts 30% of Zag's movement speed into damage, and we get, I believe, 100% movement speed up from Hyper Sprint yep. after the yeah. dash for a limited amount of time, which means after a dash for a very short amount of time, we're going to get 30% damage up in addition to our 60% from the, from the Jerky, our 60% from, uh, from Chaos, and our 30-ish uh, from Artemis, in addition to a 15% crit chance from Artemis. Another free room, let's go. And here's another free room with a fountain. So many fountains, this is good luck. Yep. Um, another Tidal Dash run again. Tidal Dash is just great damage, um, pushes things away, and um, because the spear has really long reach, pushing things away doesn't matter. <clears throat> um, here you see these eyeballs just kind of melting. Um, this game has a fairly generous auto aim, and with controller, just kind of looking at an enemy locks you on. Um, if you're playing with keyboard and mouse, the lock-on is still very significant. You just need to be uh, not in line, but your mouse just needs to be close to the enemy. Um, I have definitely been guilty of aiming my mouse just past them and thinking that it would auto-lock like a controller, but that's not how that works. Um, here we have the last last room, the, the shop before the bio, the boss, and now we, we fight Theseus and Asterius again. Yep. I actually need to save one of my um, Meg uses, so I'm going to actually not use it here because sure. they're going to be they're going to die pretty quickly regardless. Yeah, so. we've got good damage, so Theseus and Asterius yeah. are going to just kind of melt, and now we can use Companion Batty against the the mini boss and sticks yep. and against Hades. Yep. Um, Another kind of spoilery thing, um, but for a long time you aren't allowed to use your Chthonic companions against Hades. Uh, but after, uh, I believe, completing your bond with him, he will allow you to use them. Yeah. Um, it's either that or it's 50 runs, which is when it happened for me. I'm currently doing a, <laughs> a streak off of a fresh save. Yeah. 55 and counting, or 57 and counting. Well, that's, that's absurd. <laughs> I've done 59 runs and 57 streak because I died the first two escape attempts on purpose to farm. It's ridiculous. Anyways, here's sticks. The last, or this is this is Achilles spear still. So this is the second run. Yep. Yeah. Um, last area. We've got just ridiculous damage. Looking at the shop stuff here, we've got um, the sideways jerky is special damage. The vertical jerky is attack damage. Um, the little vial is additional movement speed, which, as you may remember, is also giving us attack damage. Although that movement speed's yeah. gone now. 
Um, Styx has a bunch of really small rooms and then a chamber at the end. Um, obviously, you've already seen that in the last run, but to describe it a little bit more, these individual rooms will eat up item ticks, um, but there are certain things that happen in the game that matter if you clear a full room in a certain amount of time, and those rooms don't do anything for those things. So Pierce, Butterfly, Lambent, Plume, they only care about this room right here, although your items will still continuously tick down. Yeah. One upside to that, though, is if you get a late Chaos Boon, the Chaos effect will definitely be in effect uh, by the time you get to the mini boss because you have to go through so many rooms, so, so many small rooms. Part of the reason why Poseidon is just so powerful in this uh, in the speedrun sense, too, is for this area specifically, you get um, wall damage. Yeah. And you can see how small these rooms are. I'm just getting all this free damage from running the enemies into the wall. Yeah. Occasionally, you may see some small text that says wall slam. Yep. And that's that. Uh, a percentage of the damage is that, you, that they're dealt is converted into more damage. And here's Hydraulic Might. This is going to be pretty marginal effect, but for the first 10 seconds of a chamber, there's only one more chamber left. For the first 10 seconds, you get an attack and special damage buff. Out of rerolls, so I'll take what I can get. I was hoping for, there's you one that gives. Ocean's Bounty. Go for those gemstones. <laughs> <laughs> Go for the, uh, the roguelike rewards. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right, so it's, here's it's really Hades again. It's important 100% completed save file that you get more. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so here's Hades' fight again. Um, it's... God, this game's it's so dead. good. Yes, it is. <laughs> and here's Meg. Doink. If you haven't played this game yet and have any interest in roguelikes at all, I heavily recommend it. Yep. It is on... Uh, it's on Xbox now, too. It's on and everything. PS5, and yeah. PS5. It's on everything. Yep. Um, This game was uh, originally announced and released into early access in December 2018 from the Game Awards. It was one of the first Epic Game Store exclusives, and uh, a year later it arrived on Steam and its popularity only grew. And then 1.0 came out and it won every Game of the Year award that The Last of Us 2 didn't. <laughs> <laughs> True. Not bitter. Not bitter. I'm bitter. I am, yeah. <laughs> this game is just a masterpiece. And the thing is, is because it spent so long in early access, there's some stuff here that you, you, you couldn't get from a game that wasn't in early access. Like, there's a fishing minigame, which, which I made Blaze do in the first <laughs> run. Yeah. Why is there a fishing minigame in here? Why not? Right, Every but game they didn't have. The, but they didn't. They only. They only did because they had the time to with early access. And the same thing. This game is fully voice acted, yeah. and there's so many voice lines. Oh my god! And they could only do that if they had two years to record voice lines. Over it's generally and over. And they good just, voice they acting. Add, they, yeah, it's incredible voice acting. They add, they added, vo they added voice lines every single update, and like they added new characters every update. And, I will also just say too, a lot of the voice actors are incredibly active in the speedrunning community. Yeah, and that's they true. do a lot of events, and they will bring on some of the voice actors to help out with guest commentary, and it's always a lot of fun to watch. Mm -hmm. So. Also, some of the developers of the game provide voice talent. Um, do we have more pets, just pets. really quick? So sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. Uh, we do have one additional one since your last one. There we go. All right. Uh, Hypnos is voiced by Greg Cassavin, the lead writer of the game, through some voice modification. Um, his uh, his uh, voice acting debut, and also in his voice acting debut is Darren Korb. Uh, the composer of the game, all of the game's music, is the voice of both Zagreus, our protagonist, and Skelly, the Jersey skeleton. Oh wow! Chilling oh, wait, down here. Yeah, he's guy. yeah. <laughs> he can do that. He can. Sorry, he voice? just hits that accent. It's incredible. Voice acting debut. I, I think it is. And it's that. That's wow. Zag that's and wild. Zag and Skelly. I think it's a debut. Uh, maybe he did. Maybe maybe Darren was the voice of the transistor sword. I don't actually remember. Your time for a couple of donations. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, for $50 uh, from Sarth the Snack. Puppy! Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we are and we always have, starting with title dash, it seems. And we have uh, $10 by Anonymous, who says, if you catch a fish in the Hades room, is it dadliest catch? Yes. <laughs> cool. Yes, it is. Very nice. Um, Zag Shield is maybe a slightly lesser known speedrun weapon, so I'm okay talking about it. Whoops. Yeah. I see that guy. Um, the base damage that you get from this weapon is just incredible. Um, I get to choose the best hammer for it, 
right off the bat, which is going to allow me to, um, once I get it, my dash strikes will do 50% more damage uh, in an AoE. Uh, and that's all I'm basically going to be doing with this weapon anyway. Dash and bash. Yep. And uh, it pairs well with Poseidon because any of Poseidon's boons that add knockback effects and damage will also add uh, that effect to the shield. Because the shield has its own knockback effect, which is very cool. This is up there with one of my favorite weapons. This one's really fun. Yeah. It goes burr. I just every, love it so much. Every gosh. shield aspect is very, very fun. Yeah. Um, the, the more common speedrun aspect, to my knowledge, is Beowulf, um, because you get to load multiple casts into yeah. an attack and then explode with like four attacks at once. Yeah. Um, however, setting that up can be difficult, and also like actually inputting everything correctly can be fairly difficult. And this weapon, with uh, the added uh, attack damage from having a level 5 Zagreus shield, uh, makes the damage output fairly comparable and is a, it's a very good second aspect strategy for, for the shield. Um, it's also worth mentioning, like this is a three weapons run. There's also a category uh, called Owo, oh, or one weapon only. Uh, and that uses all four aspects of a weapon as a multi-weapon run that does four runs. Yep. Um, there's also three weapons, which Blaze is doing right now. There's also all weapons, which runs all six. Um, there's also all all weapons now, which is all 24. Yeah. So. Oh, god. Who did that, Halion? Uh, I don't remember. They Not just sure. announced it recently. Oh, boy. Last I checked the leaderboard, it was empty. Well, Fresh File to I Credits just got onto the leaderboard, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, I like um, that. Yeah. Uh, there's already a I've already been attention. spoiling so much, I should just, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Fresh file the credits, you complete 10 runs in a row off of a fresh file. Yep. Right, I'm gonna not try it again. We'll save it for later. There, I trapped him in the corner. That worked pretty well. God, the boss is so annoying. Now please give me the duo. That would be amazing. Okay, I'll take that instead, that's fine. Uh, I'm qualified. The one other thing I really like about this weapon is there's so many different directions you can go in it. Oh, yeah. Um, the game offered me the Aphrodite attack, which is the best attack in terms of raw damage upgrade. Um, Aphrodite also pairs incredibly well with um, both Poseidon and Artemis, which is another one that I'm going to force at some point. Um, they have two incredibly useful duo boons, which I haven't had any duo boons yet. Well, if we get one, We'll kind of talk about it, but well, they you, are... Well, you skipped Crystal Clarity, which made me really sad. Oh, that's true, I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, duo boons have, like, specific requirements. Um, generally, something on both... Something from both gods on your main five boons. Yep. Um, the one that Blaze is thinking of is Ooh, the hi. Poseidon and Aphrodite duo, which uh, makes all boons have a minimum rarity of epic, or is it the palm one? I don't remember. Uh, that is actually Dionysus. Is Dionysus but, the palm? But the palm, the palm one is Poseidon and uh, Aphrodite. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. I was Min very minimum, excited. Minimum because... rarity epic <laughs> is Poseidon and Dionysus, and then all palms do Double. plus two instead of plus one yep. is Poseidon and Aphrodite. Here we have Tisiphone again. Yep. It's like always Tisiphone. <laughs> Oops, murder. all to Tisiphone. Oh no, we had all murder. The one. Yeah. <laughs> but with this weapon, I love getting Tisiphone because you can see she just melted. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they all do. I also got Artemis, and I got an epic pressure points. Which, if I had to pick one Artemis to get, I would choose that one. So I'm very happy about that. Yeah. Um, and crits in this game, most games crits would be double damage. In this game, crits are triple damage. Um, and an epic pressure points adds four percent crit chance, which is. I, I don't think it actually maths out to 12% damage up, but it might. I don't know how math the works. The way, yeah, criticals work a little differently than you might think they do in this game. I'm not going to try to pretend I remember off on the fly, but I'm sure my friend Firebird is watching in chat. He can explain it to Twitch chat for, for all of our sakes. So. Oh, yeah. Crits are, crits are good. Yeah, crits are good. That's what you need to know. Yeah. And we're... Yeah, uh, we don't currently have the ability to crit, but yes, we do. We do. I got a epic. Oh, pressure, pressure points. points. Yeah, yeah, you literally just said it. I'm yeah. dumb. Oh, you're good. <laughs> you literally just said it. I just didn't <laughs> see it on the side. I was like, yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, anyways, we're in Asphodel. Um, here's here's uh, Dracons. Yep. Or Dracons. Bahamut, by the way, if we get any more donations, this is the third time for everybody. So feel free to just hop in at any point. Yeah, interrupt me. I'm Let talking too much. Oh, you're doing great. <laughs> oh, you're doing great. Your commentary is amazing. Really? Yeah. yeah. All right. We do have one donation. We have $5 by SSK. Comment Mario. Mario. Mario? Oh, yeah. Mario's after this. 
Mario. Oh, Mario. Is Mario a Shoto? Uh, I don't know. According to a Twitter poll from SSK. SSK. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that too, I was referencing that. Um, so we are in the late stage of Asphodel where enemies have super armor and bouncing, jumping enemies like Bloodless with super armor is just like super frustrating and super armor is honestly really frustrating with Poseidon in general because you just, they take more time to, to die and oh, I need you have to hammer. knock them away. Oh no, I need to go here. Yeah, that is, <laughs> that's a mid shop, that's a mid shop. That's like looking at the chamber to know, yep. chamber 19. I'm, yeah, I was hoping that was gonna be the free one at the end but I would have had to fight for that hammer and that's too slow. Much too slow. Oh, you should fight Charon. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad idea. That should have been an We will still get our hammer. The game will um, try to give me the hammer at every opportunity, basically. So. Yeah, the, the uh, game really wants you to have a hammer. Yeah. Have game, it the game always, is somewhat fair. It doesn't always give you two. Uh, um, if you skip it enough times, uh, you'll, you'll just get one in Elysium. Oh, I just missed it. But sometimes oh, no, I killed it in the air. That was cool. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I've done that like once before. It's Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, I'm going to reroll for it. That's still not what I wanted. Okay. You got it twice in a row. You got both beam uh, duos offered to you. Crystal Clarity makes the beam travel really fast, and uh, I don't even remember the name of the one you just had offered. Like, it, I literally read it twice, and I've already forgotten it because <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, don't worry, it makes too. the beams uh, point from the location to Zagreus, but they last for an extra four seconds, which is supposed to sort of like offset it. Uh, you're, it's like, it's really wacky. Um, it's not great. <laughs> you can make it work, but... It's not what you want. No, absolutely not. That's what you want. Yep. Beefing up attack damage, and that's oh, the end. I'll take my free That's hammer. what we yep. were looking for. Now it's chamber 22 into chamber 23. Yep. Lerny is chamber 24. Yep. Because free math. Hammer. And here is a free hammer giving us dashing wallop for a larger 50% damage. Um, fun fact, in the beta, in early access, um, dashing wallop was not just larger area. The way that it was coded, it was actually five attacks at once. That seems good. That's disgusting. It was in it was in the same shaped arc, but it was five basic dash attacks just stacked on top of each other. Oh, come out of the lava! That I was can't gross. Go in there, that was that was a good time. Um, Notable things from the early access that I can remember are uh, spin attack from Spear used to have just disgusting frame data. Um, spin to win was like legitimately the best strategy for a little while. That's fine. I don't mind dying. Oh, I forgot to mention I'm going to donate for every death I take, so. That's two. I think that's two. Yep. Yeah. No, wait. It's two. I died, it? I died on rail once and then I got it back I, with Pat. Did you die I did to not Hades die with Spear. All? You haven't died to Hades yet. I don't no. think okay. so. Okay. Yeah. No. I do need to be a little careful here though because I don't want to die again. Yeah. Can you come not stand in the lava, please? Thank you. Okay. Nice. He's dead. I have, I have, people who watch me stream this can attest to this. I love standing in the lava. Oh yeah, I do too. You, it just happens. It just it warms your feet and then it's like, ow, too much. Hmm? All right, so we should still be doing just fine here. Um, so off the cool grab that. Yeah, let's see if I can... Fish. I grab that. No. Uh. <laughs> Ladies, do you have time for an announcement and a donation? Absolutely. All right, we have $25 by Asuka424. Hey. Because Blaze is awesome. Also, love to the whole Midwest Speed Fest crew, Heart. Thank you, Asuka. Thank you, Asuka. And we actually have added a new uh, donation incentive. Super Mario Odyssey, Darker Side, uh, with the um, uh, all death animations incentive. Oh. <laughs> all what animations? Yeah. All death animations. All oh. death animations. So that's, that's a really tight and highly optimized run. It's like a category. We have a $750 donation incentive yeah. on that. You have so to die in we every want way the death animations, get your donations in. I'm glad we, we got one for the, the finale. Yep. Yeah, finale run, yeah, X y'all. Get super hyped. Ganon is unbelievably good. Yeah. Um, knocking on the door of world record for that game in that category, I believe. So we did not know about that donation incentive beforehand. Like that must have just been figured out. So that's really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't care about any of these. So yeah, you're not going to be using any of them. Nope. Here we have another mid shop. Um, I actually shouldn't have bought this because it's going to take away my... Fr oh, never mind. It gave me it's there anyway. I have a guaranteed one from the boon. If you buy it at the shop, it will take that away. But I got it anyway, so it's all good. Uh, it's So what it is, it's, uh, it shows the chamber reward. Um, if you have... Uh, if you... 
take the adamant arrowhead. Um, you can see like the one with the little circle thingy is still there, even though we picked up an Artemis boon. And oh, there's fully loaded because it doesn't he... do anything, sadly. But yeah, no. Because... I'm not casting game. Yeah, this isn't meme beam. <laughs> Game is also being very generous, giving me Pat every time I take a death, which I really yeah, appreciate. Geez. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't want a game over. That's not fun. No. Uh, um, yeah, Another so more you can just pick the shop god boon, and like that won't actually count. That didn't count towards the buff. Like uh, the the other thing that the arrowhead does is it makes it so that the that god's boons have a better rarity chance, um, in addition to like guaranteeing it. So uh, because Blaze <laughs> entered the shop. Um, the game was going to try to put a mid a mid boss in in between him in between the shop and the next room. Yeah. So uh, mid bosses always have a god boon, and we had arrowhead. So actually, it was almost guaranteed to be Artemis. Yeah. Uh, the thing that was lucky was Artemis being in the shop as well. Yeah. And here we have a bunch of eyeballs. They all decided to spawn right in the corner next to the walls, which is what you love to see. And they all traveled in opposite directions. <laughs> Here we have clean kill, which makes crits do even more than triple damage, free which is just boon. yeah. Let's go. So many free rooms. So this was a, this is great luck. Yeah, I was, this has been a nice marathon RNG so far. Not gonna complain. Yeah, the game is is. You've skipped really so many right fish. Now. I'm so sad. I'm so sorry. That's that should be the rule. If you take a free room, you should be obligated to fish once. Well, there was a fish there. See, the problem is though, the fish don't fear me. <laughs> Same. We'll just let that one die in in the awkward silence. <laughs> Typhoon's Fury is going to make sticks a joke. I'm gonna take another one. Thank you, sure. sir. May I have another? <laughs> oh, get the duo. Get the duo or the legendary. Get the legendary. Get the legendary. No breaking wave. Yeah, that's, that's better. <laughs> Uh, so now we have uh, Typhoon's Fury and Breaking Wave. Uh, to quickly describe those, uh, the slam damage is going to be more, and the slam damage is going to cause an explosion. So uh, Styx is going to be kind of gross. I don't even think that Blaze technically needs to attack. Can probably kill things almost as fast <laughs> just by dashing. Um, you're going to see some uh, satyrs bouncing off the walls. Yeah. It's going to be a great time. Um, legitimately, we may have turned this run into a comedy. It's going to be very fun to watch. Oh, yeah. It's going to be hilarious. It's exactly what you want to see at a marathon. I'm excited. Yeah, surprise. We're actually playing pinball. <laughs> kind of, True. yeah. Or we will be. Hey, I mean, if you've been down I'm, to the I'm arcade... I'm going to go say I'm hi to my friend up. over here What's up? I mean, I mean, if you've been down to the arcade, there are so many pinball machines. So yeah. Why not, why not another one? I've, I haven't <laughs> had the chance. I got here, and then I came to this room to commentate. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. No, that was fun. I validated my run by talking to a supported shade, by the way. Yeah, um, yes. very good. In the Elysium Arena, there is one shade who is a fan of Zagreus, and everybody else roots for... I can only assume they're rooting for Asterius. I don't know why they would root for... Um, there is a plot hole the there. The other guy. The supportive shade is there on your first run. Yeah. Oh. The first time you go into the 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 uh, the Colosseum, your supportive shade is already there. He heard, he heard about me. He heard things. Sometimes Maybe. people they so, heard sometimes things, people just want to root for the underdog. I mean, yeah, but like the outfit and everything, like they knew ahead of time. <laughs> true, true. That is true. Anyway, uh, melting satyrs. Yeah, this is silly. Yeah. Um, and oh, here's, here's our big satyr. This guy is. Mm, He's pretty. Oh, there he is. He's yeah. pretty fast to kill. Like <laughs> second highest HP. No, it's third highest HP op out of the th four options. Second lowest. Yep. Didn't fish again. Rip. I just. I'm too. I've been speedrunning this game too long. <laughs> All good. Uh, what was I about to say? Uh, I think that that. That satyr, with the, the the mini boss satyr is my least favorite of all of the um, sticks mini bosses. Although it is not the slowest. No, uh, you had a special name for the one that I know yeah. a lot of people know about. So so there's a mod. He's actually removed he's, in the mod pack. Yeah, the so. mod the mod pack we're using removes the tiny vermin. But it's very important that you all know that the tiny vermin's name is Tony. Tony the tiny vermin. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. All right, and we're going into the final fight here. Uh, time is going to be. You missed uh, another fishing spot, by the way. I did not. Oh, let's go. <laughs> well, we got to wait for the catch. 
I'm nervous. Everyone's watching. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't get a perfect, but it's okay. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. I'm glad that I could get you to catch two fish. That's, <laughs> you should trade them in at the end of the run. Maybe. Get we might have noise. to do more pets, so. Yeah, we'll, do we'll, we have more pets? Yeah. Uh, we have one more pet. Okay, so we'll do more pets after this. This is going to be your last call for pets. Yep. If there's um, any, oh, and there's another fish down there. So we'll have a little bit more right time. Now. So much fish. Yep. $50 a fish. pet just to start. Just send them in right now. I think I'm out of mags, but we'll see here. We are nope, $50, I am not $50 away from, a, from one more, so get a bunch quick. Go, get go, those go, pets go, in. go, go, go. You have very, running. very little time. Although we are going to do another fish. Yeah. And, you know. I've, I've, I've gotten you to do three fish. I think that <laughs> deserves a donation from me. Oh, yeah. How close are we to another pet? Hey, Bahamut, how close are we to another pet again? $15, did you say? Uh, $15. Cool. Just gonna do this live. Doing it live. Let's go. <laughs> we'll do it live. Yep. As you just dance circles All right. around that. And I will be calling time probably in about 30 seconds, so just go ahead and be ready there. Please stay in that corner. That's so nice of you. And then remind you you got a fish after this. Oh well. Almost there. Come on. There's a spot where you, yeah, I got into it for a little bit there. Yeah. There's a spot where you can sand where those don't hit you. And time. <laughs> Woo! You were so close to dying again, too. <laughs> uh, that would have been, it's fine. I would have been another donation. Yeah. I'll probably round up a little bit. Um, maybe $10 per fish also, just so we can get some more money for OI. So, um, But I got a fish, and I got to do at least one more pet. So let's leave that open for maybe just a few more seconds while we wrap things up. $15 from Amber saying, told you I would. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me focus on this fish here. Then I will give my shout outs. Come on. That bass, let's go. Um, but yeah, while we're, uh, while we're wrapping up here and delivering this final pet, I just want to say uh, thank you so much to everybody who is a part of Midwest Speed Fest. Um, this event means so much to me, and to be able to come down and do it live again um, after basically a year and a half away has just been so incredible, so many good friends, uh, so many people I met for the first time this weekend that I've been talking to for years now because of COVID times. And um, it was just such an incredible experience. Um, we all kind of picked each other up and leaned on each other and hung together through this last year and a half till we could get back to doing stuff like this again. And um, thank you to everybody who's done all the right things and tried to get us back here as soon as possible. You are. Keep it up. Um, I know things are tough and difficult right now, but just hang in there and persevere. And I really want to go to AGDQ in January. So let's, that'd be pretty cool. Let's yeah, like nice. maybe not let that event get canceled again as much as we can help it. So I think thanks are in order for you too. I mean, you're such an important volunteer for us. Oh, thank you. Um, it's uh, speed running and speed running marathons really give me a lot of purpose and meaning in my life. Uh, I also organize marathons for the team fastest furs. Um, we are doing our fifth marathon in November, if you are interested. Please let me know. I won't you know, drop a bunch of stuff now live, but uh, reach out to me, let me know. We still have submissions open for a few more weeks, and everybody is welcome. It's a yeah. really cool event. I, I, I can vouch for them. I'm going to submit, so yeah, 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 you yeah. all should yeah, do You it. don't need to be a furry to run and do No, you don't. You don't. Not. We, we take all, and we do a good job, and we are raising money for Trans Lifeline, so oh, yeah. uh, Trans Rights. Trans Rights. Trans Rights. Um, yeah, I'm, I only got here like an hour and a half ago, but this has already been a blast, and I hope I didn't talk too much. You did great. I'm so glad you could make it, and thank you, Helix, as well. Yeah, of um, we got the finale coming up. Ganon doing Super Mario Odyssey. I don't want to keep everybody waiting. 
Uh, thanks again. Thank you, Haiti speedrunning community. I know I'm not like top, top S tier at anything, but you've always been there when I've had questions and helped me out. And uh, I don't know anybody in the Haiti speedrunning scene because I pretty much left when 1.0 dropped. But they're hi, pretty everybody. good. They're pretty good people. So hi, I've heard really you're. I've heard you are either. pretty good people. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's it for me, Bahamut. Do I have to do any more pets? Yes, we have two more pets to do because okay. the $15 got in at the last second. There we yeah. go. $15 from Amber saying. <laughs> Told you I would. That is a good boy. All right, we'll do one more, and then we will call it. Thanks again, Midwest Speed Fest. Thanks for having me. Oh, um, worth mentioning. Um, if you were wondering why Zag only pets the one head, it's because these are 2D sprites, <laughs> and they couldn't, get, they couldn't make part of Cerberus be overlapping on top of Zag, so this was just the, the way that you could animate two sprites next to each other in a way that made them look like one was petting the other. I'm going to give you all a bonus pet, because you're all so awesome. Let's keep it up to the end of the event. Hey, let's get 10K, OK? Please, please let's get 10K. Hey, I'm hosting next and I will hype the crap out of it. Let's go. Thanks everybody. Awesome.